Okay, so this is the next one in the series. So in this one, we are gonna uh, uh, actually recreate uh, pretty much the Nyad uh, display. So the stuff that we see here, you know, with the uh, slow stuff going fast and uh, uh, becoming uh, blue and the white and the fast stuff becoming white. Like, let's say back here. So you see, and we're gonna just start by recreating this in Max. So we are gonna do this with the Magma Flow of Krakatoa. And I have a PRT loader here, and it has loaded simulation. You know, the same style as we did last time on the first video. So let's uh, add the Magma modifier. So now this is Krakatoa 2 here. So we have the Magma uh, PRT op if it is um, the Krakatoa 1.6 or something that you are using then it's gonna be the Krakatoa channels modifier but really it's not um, fundamentally they are the same the, just the magma is uh, rewritten there are a couple of new uh, more, uh, operators and so on and um, it, it can do a bit more you know, things so some more stuff that the previous one couldn't do but it's not going to concern, I think, what we're going to do now. So, um, the, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the velocity of these particles and we are going to take two colors and we are going to blend between these two colors based on the velocity. So, let's uh, start with getting the velocity first. So, I just pressed Shift V and everything that is like connected to the Shift so shift and a letter gives you an input channel with the same abbreviation like shift V is the velocity, the shift A would be H and so on. Uh, then with control O I create an output and it just defaults to color. So uh, let's see what uh, we have to do here. So what, I'm, uh, what we have to do is that we have to take the velocity and do a very basic operation called normalization. Uh, something that you do all the time in, uh, in effects. We just uh, want to take this uh, value that goes, let's see, output A to viewer. It's going to show all the particles. So here, here you see we have let's wait. Something happened to the data viewer. I don't know. Uh, Okay, so you see, we have velocities, um, it's right now a vector, um, it goes, let's say we see that we look at the x part, uh, I have like minus, uh, I have 11, uh, 10, uh, 9, blah, blah. Uh, so we have these values, and I uh, want to get all these uh, values, you know, kind of. Uh, in this case, the vector. I want to put them in a zero to one range. So what I'm gonna do is first, that I'm first I'm gonna um, take the, that vector, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take the magnitude, which means just the length of the vector. In the case of velocity, it means the speed, you know, as a number, as a scalar. So I'm gonna hit V, which gives me here the vector operations. It's like like getting uh, it from here. Here we have, I have magnitude, so I'm gonna hit V and I'm gonna choose magnitude, and then I'm gonna uh, divide it by a number. So I'm gonna say divide. Uh, this is the arithmetical is uh, with A, and uh, then I'm go I have to choose the number to divide it to, and this is gonna be like my maximum velocity, the one that is gonna be at one. So I hit I for inputs and then I hit F for float. So let's say this is going to be like 5. So I divide this thing by 5, which means that uh, for the numbers between 0 and 5, I'm going to get uh, a result between uh, 0 and 1. Uh, but because there's going to be stuff that is going to be higher than 5, I'm just going to clamp it. So I'm going to hit F for function and I'm going to C for 
So it is the same thing as choosing a phone girl from before. And dragging it over, but obviously this is faster. So this is gonna clamp it from zero to one. And then I need a blend. So again, it's a F function, blend is B. And I need to blend between um, two colors. So uh, this guy needs to go at, uh, down there. So this is control W, switch the first two, and shift control W, switch the second two. So it's just a really good thing that you can uh, switch them. And then I need two colors. So these are two input vector. So I hit I for input, and I hit V for vector, and I just copy paste this. So let's say one of these guys is black and the other one is white. Value zero is going black, value one is going white, and the blend is going to get connected to the fault. So I hit update, and you see I already have stuff. Um, now to make this whole thing more you know, useful, I'm just going to say this is max speed. Then I'm going to call this color slow. I'm going to call this color fast. And I'm going to expose this thing. Okay, so yeah, I can just hit Control R for the automatic arrangement, Shift Control R for the um, combustion of automatic to manual arrangement. So I can move it now. Close this guy. Okay, so now I can look at this with like uh, white and black for the velocities, but I can just say the fast color should be like. I bluish and the slow color should be like dark bluish. And I need to, to move the timeline for the whole thing here to update. Uh, but if I hit the automatic here, I won't be able to do it. So if I say like this yellow, it should. Update or it didn't in this case, but uh, I don't know for some reason. Anyway, you can see we pretty much created here that um, the the view that we had in that. Uh, the point being that you can just take this one, uh, take this modifier now, and you can. Uh, just save it here. You see, you can just say file save for as magma script, and then you can, uh, whenever you add a new modifier, you can just click here and select it. And you can get some, uh, this kind of stuff. Actually, that's that. So, save flow as max script. So, it's going to be called. Velocity to color and ground lead. Let's see, get nothing. And if I just uh, yeah, put magma on top. And the editor, the most of the color, and it's gonna just get loaded up and automatically here. So, yeah, yeah, you're gonna see that with this thing as a base, we can we can do some cool stuff with frost on top, and also this is uh, quite nice to shade your phone with.